been a lot of shortages in the last year. Toilet paper, gasoline, and there's now a blood shortage. Yeah, it's causing concern at Low Country Hospitals. Our Caroline Bautun is joining us now with why it's happening. It's a story you'll see only on ABC News 4. Well, there is always a blood shortage, but officials say this time around, it's different. Supply is so low. At one point this week, MUSC only had six units of blood left. If you've never donated blood before, it might be time to roll up your sleeves. A major blood shortage is causing widespread concern. The reason? Largely due to the pandemic. It is, and it's such an odd side effect because we went through COVID with few surgeries, collections down, but that's sort of max. Fewer surgeries, fewer collections. But now the opposite is happening. Dr. Jerry Squires is head of MUSC's blood transfusion services. He says in his 30 year career, he's never seen blood supply this low. He says a lot of people put off procedures and elective surgeries during COVID, but now they're back. That makes us very nervous. Um, we have two trauma centers, both an adult and a pediatric. We do transplants. Um, we have all the normal usage of blood for elective and non-elective surgical procedures. We have cardiovascular procedures and all of these need a lot of blood. Blood suppliers like the Blood Connection are having a hard time keeping up with the demand. Recently, we've been seeing um, lower amounts of O negative, B negative, B positive and O positive. Heather Mulder says blood donations are down. The numbers that we've been seeing recently are unprecedented. They're historically low uh, blood donor turnout. So at our blood drives and at our centers and everything, we've never seen anything like it. The Blood Connection is the blood supplier for MUSC, Trident Medical Center, and Roper St. Francis. MUSC also gets blood from the American Red Cross. Officials at all three hospitals say as of today, they do have an adequate amount of blood on hand. Today, I want to tell you, our blood supply is quite adequate. It's quite normal. The worry is, can our blood centers replace the 100 units or more that we will use today? So blood donations are needed now more than ever. It's very easy to do. It takes about an hour to give blood and then about three days to test and process it before it can be used. And just one pint of blood can save up to three people's lives. Dean.